Hi guys, welcome back to The Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis. I hope you're all doing well today. Today's video is going to be my finished colouring pictures for the month of January. So we'll get straight into it. Now, these are not all the books that I've actually coloured in. I have coloured in um, two other books and I've also completed a book, but because of obviously the new youtube and copper law regulations i won't be able to include those in this video so we'll make a start oh, sorry i'll just pause you just a second sorry about that guys it's because i'm using my actual um selfie stick so i was just trying to prop it right so we can have a look at the first book that i've been working in well these are in no particular order but by the way so but the first book that i want to show you is this one now this is mysterious mosaics <clears throat> excuse me color by number book for adults and this is the dogs um <clears throat> I do apologise about my voice guys, I've just recently just had a really bad cold and I'm only really just getting over it so if I do have to pause you at all or my, my voice is still croaky I apologise about that. This book is 3mm sections and this book is by Belba Family. You have your colour code at the back and some samples of the pictures throughout the book. Now um belba family very very kindly sent me this book for a review so thank you so much to belba family for giving me the opportunity to review this book for you so i have colored one picture out of this at the minute so with a few like the belba families you have the inner picture you have the book belongs to and a little bit on the left hand side about the book and you have your contents page which on these contents page it tells you which dogs are included in the book so obviously this one is based on dogs yeah this book is based on dogs so the picture that i've done in this one at the moment is this and I used a combination of block colour method and also cross stitch method. And what I mean by cross stitch method is if I zoom you in, instead of colouring the blocks just like I have done there, I've just done like little crosses in. And I know it's a new thing at the minute doing the cross stitch method. I've done pictures just using the block method and I've done pictures just using the cross stitch method. Well, I had an idea and I wanted to make the picture, certain parts of the picture stand out. So I decided to use a combination of both because I thought I've not seen a combination of both before by people. So I thought, why not give it a try? So I gave it a try on this picture and I really do love the outcome. And at the bottom, you do have the colour code. Now here, you'll notice that some of the colour blocks are coloured and some are left white. The ones that are left white are the colours that wasn't included in this picture because throughout the book, the, the colour code you get is throughout the book. It's not cert on that certain picture, if you get what I mean. It's not all the colours there are included in the picture. But that's not a problem for me. It doesn't bother me at all. I really, really enjoyed that and I cannot wait to do more in that book. I have recently purchased the Mystery Mosaics Cats one in there. So I'll just have a sip of my coffee. So if you do hear me dropping the books down the side, it's because my room is a bit full at the minute. <laughs> I've struggled to make room. So the next one is this book and this is by Sun Life Drawing. And this is Colour by Number Mist Request. So in this book, you have your colour code at the back of the book, which is a 22 colour code. Where this book, it's different to the others. The others where you have the contents page telling you what's inside the book. This one doesn't. It just goes straight into it. You have this book belongs to page. 
you have your colour palette for you to test out your different mediums and on the left hand side a little bit about the book and also the copyright and then it just goes into the pictures so I'll show you the ones that I've recently done in here so I did this one now this is the circle one because in this book you have the triangular shapes squared shapes like pixels you have hexagons and circles now the circles is my absolute favorite to do I just love the circle ones so I'm kind of hoping that uh, Sun Life Drawing when the uh, they'll bring another book out like a mystery quest or a color by number but do one that just includes the circles I would absolutely love that so I did this one for my colouring book finish challenge which is for the whole year. The reason why I set this challenge is to um, encourage me to finish a few of my books because I do have quite a lot of books as you may well know and you may well know a lot of them are colour by number. I have got normal books and I do like normal books but colour by number are my absolute favourite to do and to colour this picture I used my WH Smith colouring pens and also my Stabilo 68 pens it's fantastic to actually use a mixture of pens in the different bo uh, in the books and as you can see there on the left hand side you have your colour code in these books you do have just the colour code for that certain picture so that is good so And the next one I did in this book was this one. I love this. Now, I went a little bit wrong on this one. I must have been tired. Firstly, there's a mark down there, as you can see. I was busy watching The Flash on my DVD. I've recently started watching The Flash series at the minute. And, oh, my God, I am totally, totally hooked on it which is very very surprising because I do like super, uh, superheroes they're okay but they're not my go-to kind of thing to watch but The Flash oh my god I just can't stop watching it <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it I think I'm more hooked than my husband is now so yeah I got hooked on that wasn't watching what I was doing and decided to <laughs> mark my page I decided to mark my page so that was a mistake the other mistake I did now, I just mustn't have been thinking, um, concentrating properly because here, the peach, for some reason, instead of do colouring it down here, I was colouring all the number sevens, which are up there. So, technically, where that is peach all around there, that is supposed to be the red colour here. And that peach there is supposed to be down here. <laughs> But when I realised I was colouring the number sevens, which is supposed to be red in peach, it was too late because I'd already done most of it. So I thought I might as well just carry on, just hope for the best and just use the red where I was supposed to colour the peach. So I think it's turned out really well. I like it. I like how it's turned out. And I did this one for my colouring book finish as well um, because I'm aiming to get this book finished for my next one finished for the colouring book finish challenge and in this one I used stay below 68 markers because uh, it's one of my go-to markers so that is that one so the next one now this is another book by the Belba family and this one I purchased off Amazon not so long ago um, when I first discovered Belba family through watching Nikki Niagara's channel which I'll uh, link her YouTube channel in the descriptions below so please feel free to go and check her out she's a lovely lady she does lovely videos and they are such a pleasure to watch so this is what I discovered through watching her channel I love it I love colour by numbers and I love pixels I love any I love anything like colour by number. I'm a colour by number addict. If they had a colour by number anonymous, I'd join it. I seriously would. But yeah, I love it. This is the Mystery Mosaics colour by number book for adults. 
and this is passion and this is three by three millimeter sections on the back of this book it has the 22 color palette and some samples of finished pictures through the book and this one is the same like as the other one it has the inner page cover it has a little bit about the book on the right hand side on the left hand side obviously the book belongs to and then the contents page yeah i couldn't think them for a minute and i think what it means by passion in this book is things that people are passionate about like golfing or you might be passionate about your dog a bulldog or a ballerina or yoga or wedding it's what people feel passionate about so and the ones that i did out of this book i did this one now this one is like i was just telling you i used the cross stitch method in here to do the whole of the picture as you can see i absolutely love how this turned out i think it looks really really pretty it really really goes with it and i'm really pleased with that and i'm going to do some more pictures in the cross stitch method and also the block method i think what i might do in these books is like do a page cross stitch method do a page block do a cat page cross stitch do a page block and just do it that way because i've been enjoying doing that and this is the other one that i did now this one again i used a combination of block and cross stitch method because i wanted the ballerina to stand out guarantee these this color here i didn't get quite right on that and the shadow at the bottom was meant to be darker i do apologize my focus is going it's because of the pixels and i wanted the curtains to stand out so that's why i decided to do that with that one and i really love it i just fully really enjoyed doing that and i cannot wait to do more pictures in that book so the next one is i've been working in on this because i want to do finish this for my coloring book finish because i've done quite a lot in here and this one this is by sun life drawing and this is lines and dots and the idea is you have at the back oh, excuse me at the back of the book all the pictures that are included in this book and some of them you actually coloring lines and some of them are dots so that was the front cover that i did ages ago so on this left hand page you have about the book and the copyright you have your contents page and the pictures that i did recently from this is this one of whitney houston now all i did with this you can use as many colors as you like you can use even just one color this one i just used one straight color because again I was watching the flash and I got hooked and I thought I just want something simple that I can concentrate not concentrate but that I don't that doesn't include a lot of concentration so I did this one and all I used with this was I think it was a, it was a WH Smith pen yeah I remember now it was a WH Smith pen I used for that and I love it I like it the other one that I did was this one for the colouring book finish and I used a stay below 68 marker in this. Now this one is a cake. And you can see, do you know I never even noticed that when I was colouring it but looking at the back it is the cake one. And all I used was just one stay below 68 marker. Um, I do like the lines but I prefer the dots but I like the lines as well and i colored this one now this one i decided to use two glitter gel pens and i completed this picture for the color along which is run by uh i think it's john the bibliophile colorist and also lisa's coloring corner and i think creative colouring creativity i really do apologize for some reason i just can't remember the other person's name but 
yeah then we're doing um jelly in january for this month so i decided to just grab two glitter uh gel pens and i colored a line like in the black then i went blue black blue black and so on and you can tell a little bit there how glittery it to be honest it doesn't do it justice on the camera it looks a lot more glittery in person and that one is one of a cockerel <laughs> yeah anyway yes i did that one <laughs> yeah i did that one and i have only got one two three four i've only got five more pictures in that book to complete and then i've got a book finished so i'm going to work hard on this and get the other pictures completed in it so the other one is you, you've seen this quite a few times now, so you can gather I'm a fan. Uh, this is Mystery Mosaics, colour by number book for adults, and this is women, 3mm sections. I won't go into detail about this book because I've already reviewed and talked about this book in my last couple of videos, so obviously I don't want you to feel like I'm repeating myself. So the picture I did in this book is I did this one and I'm showing you this light because for some reason the tag's still in it but this is from December. So yeah actually you might have already seen this picture <laughs> so I do apologise guys it's because the tag was still in it so I presumed it was one I did recently. Yeah this is one using the cross stitch method. Um yeah i already showed you that picture so i apologize about that guys i didn't realize i'd already showed it yeah so there's this one now let me just double check to make sure this wasn't one that i did in december yeah it was did i show you this if i didn't i'm showing it you now this is cakes and candies color by number by Sachin Sach Diva. I do apologise if I've already showed you this picture, but again, I left the tag in, so there you go. This book, is, yeah, it's. I did this for a colour along with Joanne McCann that I did in December. Um, it was just a colour along to do the same picture. This is just like a simple colour by number book, and I'm really pleased with how that turned out. I used Big Market markers for this one. So yeah, guys, I apologise about showing you those pictures twice. I mustn't have just I must have forgot to just type the thing out. So the next one, surprise, surprise! This is a not colour by number. This is stressless colouring geometric patterns, a hundred plus colouring pages for peace and relaxation. So I've just got to find out who it is by. So it's got Adams Media at the bottom. So I'm not actually sure, to be honest. I've had this book for a while. It's just got different geometric patterns in. And I thought I would grab this book out for the jelly in January. I know when I had this book, I had to wait a while for it because it came from America. But the recent one I've did for Jelly in January was this one. Now this one, yeah, it went horribly wrong as you can tell. I was using my Lolly's gel pens, or I should say trying to use them. And the, oh God, they were awful. As I was trying to colour along, it kept, the ink kept flow, kept slowing down and then stopping and then starting and then stopping. And some of the lines, I'm not joking you, they took me about 10, 15 minutes just to do one squiggle, just to get the gel pen to work. I like how glittery they are if I could continuously get the pens to work. So it turned out okay. It's not one of my favourite ones, but it turned out okay, I suppose. So the next one is this one. Colour by number animal stencils by Sun Life Drawing. And yeah, I did this one 
of the Rhinosaurus and I used Pro Markers to do this. And I think I coloured that while I was watching The Shining. <laughs> yeah, did that one. And I also did this one. And I used Pro Markers to do that as well. Or it might have been Prismacolor Markers actually. I quite like how it turned out. I really like the pictures on the black backgrounds. I just think it helps for the actual pitch, coloured picture to pop to stand out on the black backgrounds and I really do like that so that is my Sun Life drawing so the last one guys is this one Colortronics a kaleidoscope colouring challenge and this is by who is it by it's got Buster Books on the back do you know, I should really research this before I actually start filming. It, yeah, it is by Lauren Farnsworth and cover design by Angie Allison. So there you go. So I was also going to work in this one for the colouring book finish challenge. That's one that I did before. Yeah, so I'm working on this for the colouring book colouring book spin I've put colouring book spin up there but it's not it's colouring book finish I mustn't have been thinking properly yeah so this is what a recent one that I've done for the colouring book finish and I used stay below 68 pens to do this and I did this while I was watching the Supergirl series I think so yeah I completed that one so guys that is my completed pictures for the month of January like I said this isn't the whole of what I've been colouring I have actually coloured in two other books uh, and I've actually done a colouring book finish I managed to finish a book which was by Sun Live Drawing but uh, if you go on my Facebook page which is Keep Calm and Craft I did um, post a video on there going through my pictures for the colouring book finish. But what I shall do is, because obviously the regulations of showing the pictures in the other books that I've done, I'll be doing a separate video soon on that page. So feel free to go and check it out. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, feel free to press the subscribe button and the notifications of when i bring the next video out uh, and thank you to everybody for taking your time to watch this video and subscribing and liking it all helps i'm aiming to really get my channel out there this year because uh, it is a passion of mine to do the videos for this channel for you guys um because basically if it weren't for you this wouldn't be here yeah if it weren't for you guys i want to have the channel so i just want to say a big thank you for that so guys i'm gonna get going for now i'm gonna delve into my lego <laughs> yeah that's for another video so i'll see you soon guys um hope you all well and thank you for watching happy coloring and bye bye for now bye